What's up, my peoples? I'm Go here, the freaking geek himself, and welcome to another exciting episode of MGO Build Stuff, the series where I teach you how to properly clean your dilithium crystals. Makes them all nice and shiny, but moving on with the Eagle Moss Star Trek The Next Generation Enterprise D Build. We're still on issue number three. We're on the uh, third assembly of issue three. So here we have the magazine. Here we have our parts. So let's get down to it, or let's engage. Say nothing to it, but to engage it. So let us slice everything open. We have a lot of little compartments here to slice open. We got more windows. We're doing more windows. And we're doing more lights. Oh, we're doing more lights. Look at that. And be careful with this because I don't want to cut the wires. Okay. Flyers. We got skinnies. There we go. And that. Slicey slice. And that is everything. Right. Yes, yes. Good. Get out of my life. Get out of my life. Okay, so. Now. We will open up our instrucciones. Ay, que instrucciones! Ay! Ay! So where are we? Okay, we're here. This is where we are. This is where we're living for today. We are doing stage nine, and uh, we're going to be doing um, some more skeletal structure here for the saucer section. So right off the bat, we're bringing in this, popping this out. Pop, pop it out. There we go. Get out. You can get out too. Okay, again, some more metal framework here for our saucer section. And this is getting attached to frame parts that we've already put together. And this is going right, right, right here. Like that. Okay. So this is getting for BM screws. Oh, I got some BM screws here. Bum, bum, bum. The bum screws. Got a lot of bum screws. I'm assuming this whole framework is going to take all bum screws. Lousy bums. Anyway. Four. And I'm assuming that's all we need. So, I got a, uh, I, I got a new tool. We're going to see how this works. This may not be a permanent uh, staple of the build, but I, I just got it. I want to try it out. We're going to see what happens. I got an electric screwdriver. Is it a cool look? It's a, look, look. It's got light. It's got light and everything. Ah. I'm going to try it out. We're going to see how this works. I didn't buy this specifically for the builds. I just, I bought it because I just wanted one. I've always wanted one and I finally caved and bought one off of Amazon and uh, I just want, hey, let's give it a test run. Let's see how it works. Maybe we'll use this for uh, just for like maybe longer segments of the build so you kind of get through things a little quicker because sometimes screwing takes a long time. Sometimes you need more efficient screwing, but let's see. <laughs> let's, let's see how this works. Get in there. Ooh, Ooh that's okay. As always, first we'll just get them started. Get them started. This is magnetized also. Yay! Some magnetized. Some magnetized electric screwing. I can already tell this thing actually has a good amount of torque. I've been I've been using this on some other stuff. It does have a good amount of torque. It just doesn't have as much torque as I'm probably gonna need. As, as much as I'm probably gonna need for this. We're screwing into the uh, the metal bits. We can use it to get it started. We can prep it. <laughs> Let's try. And now, whisker! Oh, we're doing some electric screwing. Let's see. Let's see how this works. Let's see. Yeah, that's that doesn't have enough torque. <laughs> we <laughs> doesn't have enough torque for the metal parts. We gotta bring in the regular screw for this screwing. Sometimes you just need some good old-fashioned elbow grease. There we go. Yeah. That electric screwdriver actually does have a surprising amount of torque, but yeah, this, these bits do need that extra bit of a, that extra bit of force to really get these things in there. I might just use that, uh, I might just use the electric one for like the, uh, the plastic parts, because I'm sure that'll work a lot better for those. 
hey, we'll try that out too because we have some uh, some plastic bits we need to put in. So, hey, we'll try it out for that. Again, this is just like, we're, we're just trying it out. I'm not saying I'm going to use this in every video. We're just going to, we're going to see. We're going to see. We're going to see how it works. It's a test run. Like I said, I didn't, I didn't buy that specifically for these builds. I just bought one because I just, I just wanted one. <laughs> I just really wanted one. And I've been using it for some other stuff and it does work very well. Very efficient, very efficient screwing. <laughs> very efficient screwing, but there we go. Got that attached, nice and snug. Like a bug in a rug. Right, yep, that's good and snug there. So, there we go. We got some more, some more of the saucer here. It's getting bigger, it's getting bigger. Oh, baby, oh, baby. Okay, so it seems like that's all we're doing with this. So we're just going to put this off to the side and see what else we're doing. So now, okay, so now we are doing um, more windows. Yay, more windows. So we're bringing in our neck, our ship neck here. And yeah, these, again, do have a specific... I say again, I haven't said this the first time. We have, these do have a specific orientation. You can see that it's all have L. I don't know if you can see it on these clear ones. Does it say on these clear ones? Yes, it does. It's upside down. There we go. I don't know if you can see it. They do have a little, little L's on them. And they do have to be the right side up. Apparently, these have to go in a specific way. So, that'll be fun. <laughs> so, okay. So, what I'm going to do, because I'm not going to make you watch me nip all of these pieces. I'm just going to nip off screen, and I will be right back. Okay, so we got these all, all nipped and ready to go. And now we're going to start to putting these little windows in. We're going to see how this goes. <laughs> all right, so where should we start? I guess we'll start. We'll start here, work our way over. Okay, so we're starting off with a black window. Make sure it's the right side up. Oh, these are so small. That thing's just in my way. That is just in my way. There we go. So that, and then we get a clear one. Oh man, come on. <laughs> Don't even let me pick it up. Where's the L? There's the L. Oh man. That in place. Boom, there we go. Then another black window. And again, really and truly, you could, you could arrange these windows however you want. You can have whatever ones you want blacked out. You know, it's, it's totally up to you if you want to follow the instructions as far as the, uh, the window placement goes. That's totally up to you. But I'm going to follow the instructions just because, just because I'm a good boy. I'm a good boy. I follow the instructions. Uh, where's the L? The L is a lot harder to see on the clear windows. <laughs> there we go. So how's everybody doing? How's everybody feeling? As always, hope everyone is doing well. Everyone is staying safe. What am I doing? I'm putting more windows in my enterprise. And feeling good doing it. Albeit a little, a little stressed because these are so small. They're so small. But it's okay. Okay, we got another black one. Where are we? Where's the L? Where are you, L? Show yourself, L! Before I give you an L. You're not going to give me the L. I'm going to give you the L. Because I'm l -less. Okay. Go. Boom. Get in there. Okay, there we go. We got our first row of windows in, and now we're moving on to the next row of windows. So, what are we doing here? Oops, did I not cut out enough clear ones? I think I didn't cut out enough clear ones. Oh, okay. It's okay. I'll nip another one. I'll nip another one. Where are we? Where am I? Where, where, where am I? There's the L. There we go. <laughs> it's so hard to see the L on the clear ones. It's so very hard. Especially when you're doing this from behind a camera, it makes it even harder. 
Okay, there we go. And then two black windows. This is the part of the build where I'm actually really happy that I have these little tiny girl hands because it's... <laughs> imagine, imagine if I had like actual adult sized hands. Oh my God, this would be murder. I would definitely have to use like some kind of tweezers to do this. And I wouldn't even trust that, honestly. It does afford me a little extra dexterity. So hey, I'll take what I can get. Sometimes what you see as a curse is really a blessing. <laughs> a blessing in disguise, as they say. Okay, and I have to cut out one more clear window. I thought I'd cut out all the ones that I needed, but I need to nip one more. There we go. I need to nip one more. Where's my nippers? Where's my nippers? Give to me my nippers. Okay. Come here, nippers. I could have sworn I cut out all the ones that I needed, unless it's hiding here, unless it's hiding in plain sight, and, oh, it is. <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> okay, so I didn't need this. I did cut out as many as I need. That one was just hiding. It just vanished. Okay, I'll put that one over there. I can sit there. Okay. <laughs> it was hiding. It was hiding in plain sight. Where is the L? There's the L. And there we go. All of our windows are in place. Let's turn it over and see how it looks. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that. How could you imagine? I've made that joke already, but still, it just it just bears repeating. Okay, so we have done that. We've put in our windows. I'm going to set this down nice and gently over here so I don't shake anything up and risk any of those windows popping out. Okay, so what are we doing now? So now we are installing uh, some more lights. We're doing more lights. So now we have... This panel here, and this is getting more lightage, more lightage. So where are we going with this? Open this up a little bit. So where are we going? So we are doing red and blue. Okay, so red and blue is going on the bottom. Okay, straighten this out. There we go. So red and blue is going on the bottom. And yellow and black is going up top. So that is our orientation. That is where we are living. And good luck holding all this in place. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's gonna come on that. And I believe this you do have to kind of bend because this is, I think this one, yeah, this one is actually going to like a little notch here. So I think we have to actually like bend this, which honestly makes me very nervous to be bending these, but uh, I should be fine. Hopefully it'll still work. <laughs> we can't test it out actually, so I'll probably, I don't have the tester out. I need to get the tester out, but. Okay, so where are we going? Where are we living? We are living, I'm gonna orient this the way it is in the instructions here. So we are living right here. So that goes there, that goes there, like this maybe. It'd be nice if there was a little bit of a little bit of friction there just to help you hold it in place. Now where is this going? This is going right over, you know what I need to do actually? Let me, let me, let me, let me prep some screws here. What are we using here? Beep, piss screws. Oh, beep, 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 Okay. So we're using how many? Four? Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna prep a screw here. I'm gonna prep, I'm gonna prep some screws. Not prep some screws, I can only prep one. I can only prep one at a time. Well, technically I can prep two, actually, because I have two screwdrivers right next to me. So I can actually prep two. Get in there. You know what? Just, just fine. Be uncooperative. See if I care. So I'll prep this one. I'll get this one in place. And then I'll use the other one. We'll get this one in place. There we go. We have a system here. We got a system going. Okay. <laughs> we got a system going here, peoples. All right. So let's see how we can make this work. Okay. So this is going. This is dropping down where exactly? Uh, looks like right here. Okay. So that's there. That's there. 
And oops, nope. You stay. Okay. So that is where it needs to be. And that is where it needs to be. Okay. Everything's good. Is that going to stay in place? That is in place. Okay, that's in its spot. That's where it lives. Okay, so now I'll we'll start off with this one. And boom. And there we go. Boom. Booyah. And I'll bring it to ya. Okay. And now we'll do this one. Since we already got it prepped. There we go. Okay, we don't want to tighten it too much because these are clear parts and they'll crack if you if you go a little too tight on this. Okay, so now we'll do another one. Turn on the light. Yay! You know, so you can screw in the dark. <laughs> ah, screw in the dark. There we go. See, a good thing about this is that you can't over tighten because once it hits once it hits that resistance, it just stops. So that's actually nice that you can't really over tighten because it just stops you right there. So I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Some efficient screwing right there. It's the most efficient screwing I've ever done in my life. <laughs> Alrighty. Boom. There we go. Now for windows. Our windows are nice and secure now. The lights, they're in their homes. There we go. Now the instructions don't say to test the lights out at this point. It's saying we're done, but you know what? I'm gonna test the lights out and uh, I, I have to get the tester. I forgot to bring that out. So give me a second. Okay, I got the tester in. I think I have the batteries in right. I, I always take the batteries out and I don't remember how they go in. I think I put them in right. <laughs> Doesn't matter which one of these I plug it into. I don't think it does. I hope it doesn't. I hope it doesn't matter. Because we're going to do it. Put this in right. And I never know. Oops. Yep. There we go. Boom. There you go. We have lights. Can you see that? There we go. We have lights. We have illumination. We have illumination. Can you see that there? There you go. We have our illumination. We got some lit windows going on there. Nice, nice. Noise. Noise. I am pleased. I am most, most pleased with that. I'm trying to wiggle this out. Of the tester here. Come on. Come on. Oh, uh... man, these things going really secure there we go juice man juice okay there you go the lights work and we have our windows in and we have some more framework here for our saucer our saucer has more skeleton more saucer skeletonness and uh there you go we are done with this stage of the build that was fun. <laughs> uh, alrighty. There we go. We are finished for this week. And as always, if you would like to sign up for your own enterprise kit, there'll be a link in the description down below for you to check out. And if you missed any stage of this build, there is also a playlist in the description down below, which you can check out at your leisure, and you can watch this lovely starship take shape before your very eyes. But yeah, there you go. We are done with this stage of the build. We'll see you next week. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this exciting episode of MGO Builds Stuff. And remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek! Be proud, live long and prosper, and palm in your face.